me and everyone. Welcome to My Pig in Life. Yeah, I know, right? It's this time of year again, and this is what this time of year does to my lighting. So I'm truly sorry about the lighting, but the November and December months do not like to cooperate with me. Neither does winter. But we need to keep our mood up during this season. And I have been so busy with important tests recently, I haven't uploaded a video in ages. And have I mentioned how nice it is to see your beautiful face today? I probably haven't. Okay, but going over to the serious part, we need to talk. Why, you asked? Because I want to chat with you guys, duh! It's been some time, and it's time we sat down and think a little bit. Anyway guys, you know what we will be talking about, so I'm just gonna get started right away, and that is that I want to ask you guys the question, what do you believe happens after death? Because personally, I've just come to the conclusion that, you know what, whatever will happen after death or after life here on Earth will happen no matter what. Whether nothing will happen or anything will happen, you know, whether we come to heaven or whether we get reborn, you know what, it will happen anyways. So why not live life in the moment and enjoy life as long as we have it? Because the only thing we know is that we have life right now and therefore we must live it to the fullest. I mean, I'm very spiritual in the sense that I like to think that there's probably something after death but you know I just don't know. To me that is of course what makes the whole thing interesting because we don't really know anything about it but there are so many possibilities because we don't know yet. There are probably some thoughts and theories or possibilities that haven't even been thought about but right now I'm just saying that you know what? Life. Live life. Happy! Speaking about life and tests. How is your life today? I'd like to hear it in the comments below. Oh, how I'm doing today? I'm doing actually pretty fantastic because you know what? Today we've had an English mock exam or, you know, midterm and stuff. And this is gonna sound very crazy, but I absolutely love English midterms. Okay, math is one thing. I'm not good at math. And then you have Norwegian. And Norwegian is pretty similar to English, but you know, English mock exams or midterms in Norway are a lot easier because, you know, the level is not as high because we're all Norwegians and many of us don't have English as our mother tongue. I don't really know why I'm doing all of this. So the test today has actually managed to get me a little bit in the mood. And I actually took the advantage of writing about my channel. Many of you are gonna think that is very strange because you're gonna be all like but aren't they gonna judge you for being a Wiccan if they know that you have a channel called My Pagan Life? Don't they judge you? I was thinking of making a separate video on that topic. I happen to live in a country that is very religiously neutral, I guess you can say. Nobody really gives a S-H-I-T. I mean, some people are very interested, some people think it's very nerdy and very weird, but it it's not often you come across some extremist Christian or some extremist in general who's gonna be like, oh, that is horrible, or you know, that is bullshit. So you know, I'm feeling pretty decent. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good today. But yeah, that actually got me thinking of something. And that is that for just about one and a half week ago, um, I experienced something that wasn't just as incredible or just as great and it is in regards to my channel and me and I think you guys should know because it has something to do with one of my videos and if you're ever going to question this, I just want you guys to know this. So, as you know, for example, let us take the US as an example because most of you are watching me from the US. I am from Norway and times in Norway and times in the US are two completely different things because I think that Norway is six hours ahead of the US approximately, which means that most of the activity on my channel is happening during nighttime in Norway. And and guess what that also means? It also means that I often get the chance and ability to start off my day on a positive note because whenever I wake up and open up my mailbox and scroll through a few things or if I go on YouTube and check my, you know, notifications, I can see you guys have commented on my videos and, I, and most of them are very nice comments and, you know, all of them till now have been very, very nice comments. Uh, and I can just sit there and think that, wow, you know what? This was an incredibly good way of starting the day. But on the Sunday that was for one and a half week ago, uh, was the day I didn't get to start off 
on a very positive note. Cutewitch772 had commented a comment on a video of mine called Shit People Say to Pagans. If you haven't seen it, that's fine. It's probably good that you don't see it anyways and don't even try looking for it because I've set it on private setting. I am just about to tell you why. Cute Witch wasn't exactly happy about the fact that I had managed to copy or steal a lot of her concepts. And the worst part is that I didn't even mean to do so. You know, when I was making this video, I felt very inspired and I watched a lot of other people's videos. And in the process of making my own video, um, I, I added a lot of things that I had just remembered in my head that I just heard over and over and I didn't really think about what these statements were or where they came from. I had just heard them somewhere and I decided that okay let me put it into my video. And that obviously was not the best idea. So I ended up using a lot of cute witches statements and she was obviously not happy about this and I get it because I mean I did take some of her statements, I did add my own but I just added them without thinking about it and and then I got myself in this sicky situation. I felt the embarrassment and guilt down to my stomach. I spent the whole entire Sunday on watching at least seven videos on how to make yourself happy, ten videos about how to forgive yourself, and the list goes on. Honestly, this was a little bit of a traumatizing experience for me because I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about the situation anymore. Uh, I have tried to put it in the past and I've tried to say sorry. She has never gotten back to me after that. Uh, I will never look at my video the same way. I will never look at her video the same way. I don't think I'll ever look at anything of this the same way ever again. And because I was so god darn scared. Now I was suddenly, I, 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 I suddenly had copycats stamped on my chest. And I fear I still do, but I mean, the worst part is that I didn't even mean to. And I mean, that does sound weird because I mean, I did it, but it's it's just, I mean, we're all human. Sometimes we do weird things and, and, and this is a great example of how you can do horrible things also when you're not even intentionally doing it. But whether I did it intentionally or not, the fact is that I did it and I felt so horrible. I'm not saying this to you guys because I wish to make a huge point out of it and I really appreciate it if you really don't, but I hope you uh, appreciate my honesty because it's not the end of the world, but it has to do with my channel and it has to do with one of the videos that I published and I think that you guys have the right to know. I'm not the person to lie and I'm not the person to hide things and therefore I think it's fair to say that this is something horrible I did. There is no reason as to why you shouldn't know. I am left with a feeling that Cute Witch hates me. I can't know that, but I've known her channel for quite a while and I've looked up to her and I feel like we've gotten off on the wrong foot. I never thought that my first actual encounter with Cute Witch on the internet in a conversation would be in regards to this. And I doubt that Cute Witch will ever visit my channel anytime soon and I doubt that she'll be watching this video right now but if you are watching this video I want you to know that I'm I'm truly sorry. I'm so sorry. I did not I, I did not mean to. And it sounds like I'm laughing, but I, I'm really not. I'm really not. The worst part of it was that I had such a hard time forgiving myself. And that is what I think is the most valuable lesson of this entire scenario. One, think things through before you go through with it. Two, try your best to make up for your mistake because it just so happens that you can't turn back time and change things. Therefore, you just have to try and do the things that you can do right now. And third is to forgive yourself. And that is the most important part of it because it doesn't matter how many people forgive you or how many people say that you're fantastic unless you truly believe it or unless you truly do forgive yourself. And it's still hard for me to look back at it, but it's simply because I did someone wrong and 
it was never my intention. But I hope you guys get what I mean. But yeah guys, I also hope that you can forgive me for giving you this huge long rant about this topic. Thank you so much for listening. I really needed to vent a little bit. Life has also been a little bit busy these days. Let's just learn from our mistakes and let us live life. And you know what? Enough about my life. I want to hear about your life. I want to hear about your life. Go down in the comments below. Go down in the comments below. Tell me everything that's going on right now. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for chatting with me. It's so nice to see your face again. It was so nice. Um, and blessed be from my pagan life.